Hey y'all, welcome back to Twin Oaks Farm Poultry. Thanks for joining us. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're continuing our countdown to Meat Bird Move-In Day. And in this video, we're just talking about some quick tips on successfully feeding meat birds. So the quickest tip I can give you, if you just need a standby ration to feed meat birds, and maybe you don't even really know where to start, this is a good label to look for. A 22% protein start to finish meat bird prepared formula that's a balanced and complete ration for them and will support their growth from hatch to harvest. So this is an example of what that product looks like. It's a prepared crumble. And when we say prepared crumble, that refers to the size and the texture of the pieces in the feed stuff. And so the uh, advantages of a prepared crumble are that this size and texture is palatable and digestible for your birds. And so for our birds to be supported in their growth, they need that high protein. And in order to be able to get that out of their feed, it needs to be palatable and digestible. So uh, keep in mind that for a chicken to eat something, the size of it has to be able to fit into their beak. So the size of the crumble contributes to its palatability, the ability of the bird to eat it. And then also, the uh, texture of the crum crumble makes it very easily digestible for our chickens. So that also contributes to our chickens' ability to utilize that feed. So a crumble accomplishes palatability and digestibility. So that's the first tip. Plan on providing them something that they are willing to eat and that they're able to eat. Hey, y'all, second tip is you can actually plan on needing 10 pounds per bird to raise and finish your meat birds, specifically talking about Cornish rock cross meat chickens. And, you can, and that's over six weeks. You can grow the birds out beyond six weeks, but we have found that you really maximize the growth potential that you can expect from a Cornish rock cross meat chicken over six weeks time. And we have consistently found that it takes 10 pounds of feed to feed them for that amount of time and finish them up to about approximately a six pound live weight bird. So plan on 10 pounds per bird. You can actually take the number of birds you wanna have in your flock and multiply that by 10, and that tells you the total amount of pounds of feed that you need for your flock in order to raise them out. And most feed supply stores and farm supply dealers sell feed in bags that are packaged in 50 pounds. So you could even take the total number of pounds of feed you need, divide that by 50, and you'd know how many bags of feed you need. We do like to have all of our feed on site before we move birds in so we don't have any worry of supply chain issues. So the third tip that I want to give you, and this will be the last one, is please know that on most prepared feeds, that you'll find at feed dealers and farm supply stores. Those are made with ingredients that are corn and soy based. It is possible to find alternatives. And if you want something different, you can talk to other poultry producers, chicken keepers, feed dealers, and you can come up with an alternative. But if you do stick with what you can buy prepackaged and prepared at the feed stores, most of those are corn and soy based. And if you want an alternative, just ask around and look for something different. But keep the protein high at 22% and expect to feed them about 10 pounds a bird. Here's a parting look at Mama Hen and Oakley Chick. And they, of course, are more of egg production type birds, but they have the meat bird production barn all to themselves until our meat birds actually move in. Join us again for more tips in counting down to meet bird move in as the month of August continues. Please subscribe to Twin Oaks Farm Poultry. We're trying to reach a thousand plus subscribers and we appreciate your help.